Hi Artistic Family, welcome back to today's poor Shannon Gibson Art Designs. And you guys might remember this piece. I did a multiple flip cup a few weeks ago and ended up with a really cool landscape design, which was unintentional. Uh, I will link that video for you guys to take a look. But what happened is even though I loved the colors and I tried this new premium ultra ripe like craft smart bronze which is a very different color than my regular artist loft and I absolutely loved the orange undertones in it however when it dried it's just not as vibrant as I wanted and yes I can varnish it but the color still really isn't there it, the, what I expected from when it was wet to dry and sometimes that happens especially when you new, use new brands so what I'm doing today is a multi ring pour and um, I plan on doing them in different variations using the same colors. So again, always guys, um, if I don't go over and give you all the details with my paints, they're always listed in the video description box below. So I have my Artist Loft Silver Argent Metallic, of course, Metallic Bronze. Today I'm using a different um, gold. I usually use 14 karat gold by Folk Art. I really do love Folk Art's um, gold. And uh, this one here is bright gold, and it has got a lot more yellow tone, more gold, and uh, it should be super vibrant, so can't wait to see that. And then I have my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, and I've mixed up a lot of black because I've been doing a huge trend on black bases, which I've always done anyways, but I've been doing them quite a bit, and I'm loving it. So... Let's go ahead, get some puddles thrown on this bad boy, and get in our groove. Okay guys, so I have an 18 by 24 inch canvas. I need about 16 ounces or so. I have three 12 ounce Solo cups, so I'm only going to be filling them basically halfway because I will put a puddle uh, on the base, so that will help. I don't want too much paint. Sometimes I go a little too far, even though I know the measurements for it. Um, because when I do ring pours, I really don't want to have to overstretch so I can keep the lines. So like I said, I'm going to do different variations. So in this one here, we're going to add in some bronze. We're going to add in some gold on this one. We're going to add in that gorgeous silver. What can I say? Wow, can you guys believe this? 
I waited probably about 20, 30 minutes after I did um, the actual video, the pour. And I'm so glad I did. I left a tiny bit more paint than I normally do on the canvas, but I knew I didn't leave enough to distort anything. And the cells are beautiful. Like, I love these wavy type of cells with the shape in them. I've got, like, it almost looks like from different angles, like I have these divots in the canvas, oh, like here. I... I can't even get out the Celine Dion, guys. I'm just gobsmacked. I never ever use that term. I'm just like, it's hard to ever make me lose words or be lost for words. But again, this is why I say fluid art. Welcome to fluid art. Because you can have so many intentions and have the right, you know, consistency. You, anything can happen. Anything can happen in fluid art. And sometimes it's a winner and sometimes it's not. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, this is a for sure winner. I have no problem that my paint was a little bit more fluid. They were all the same consistency, just a little thinner than normal, um, than what I would normally do for a ring pour. So I lost the lines, but look what surprise I got instead. A metallic explosion of stunning cells in different sizes and shapes, different variations everywhere. And I could not be happier with this. I will link my ring pour playlist for you guys to take a look. And as usual, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you've learned or took anything away from the video, I would appreciate a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. It is free. And, uh, you know, why not? If you watch the video, um, hopefully all the way through, I would really appreciate that. I will link my ring pour playlist for you as well as the flip cup since this was a re-pour for those of you who haven't seen it. And uh, take care, guys. I will see you guys in the next pour. Thank you so much for watching.